Good morning folks, it's been a hellish weekend and well yesterday was hellish and all. Uh, absolutely pelting it with wind and rain over the weekend. Uh, storm came in on Sunday through Monday. Uh, never let up with the wind but we're lucky enough nothing majors went rang, a few bins blown about here and there. I've heard of a couple of folk with power cuts, but uh, the mace that's happened here, fortunately, has been just some branches and bins. So, overall, pretty lucky, if I'm honest. Uh, apart from feeding coos, the likes of where I'm outside the now feeding the coos, the, the wind's blowing the silage all over them. <laughs> it's no meant to go in their backs. <laughs> it's a really windy day today. I've been struggling to make videos because it's been so windy. The, the wind on the camera doesn't work very well. It's been far too windy for me to try and make videos the last few days. Today's very windy but I'm going to try and do some stuff with the tractors and I'm going to show you how to uh, edit the mold traps to make them more sensitive because a few folk were asking how we do that. Um, so I'll show you what we do because there's a few of our traps that haven't even edited, just they were bought and put the uh, wind blowing the silage in the back window here. They were bought and put straight in uh, the ground, uh, just trying to get on, but they're, all, they're not as good as the ones that we really made sense to. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank M Store for sending me some gear. So I've got these specs here, they're fantastic. Uh, just started using them yesterday I think and it's just perfect for when the sun's at that rank height that it is these days. In the mornings it's just right down at eye level so these have been quite handy. And I've got a couple of sets of gloves that are uh, probably the best pair of gloves I've had. You know how hard it is to get waterproof gloves that are warm because gloves are never waterproof and they need to be waterproof here <laughs> but these things are waterproof and they're kind of lined inside, so they've been fantastic, especially going about in the bike. It's keeping the backs of my hands warm <laughs> with the rain on the back of it and all. So these gloves have got fantastic. <coughs> got a kind of lining inside it, keeps your hands nice and warm and dry. <laughs> They are a bit beefy, so they're not that brilliant for little fiddly jobs, but they're just good for just doing jobs around about the farm. Uh, now I go given another set of gloves. I've not managed to use these ones much yet, but they're very grippy and they're, they're fine for the fingers, so they'll be better for the fiddly jobs. And they're actually quite warm too. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was M Store, thank you very much. They'll come in handy in these cold, cold windy days. Well, not so much cold at the moment, it's quite unusual. It'll change. I, I reckon there's more cold weather to come. We we'll never get away with it that easy. <laughs> the cold weather will come, but there are new high winds and then rain, horizontal. Seems to be the main problem. Hey, let's go get some work done. <laughs> I've ended up at Slurry. We didn't use money. I'll show you how I tweak my old traps. <laughs> but just want to say that we've managed to spread this field down here. It's finally finished. Just in amongst all the wet days and this and that and busy with other things. No managed to get back to it but now we're back to it. Finished spreading here. So what we've actually managed to do is clamp the slurry tanker on up the road onto the umbilical and blow pipes out for the first time. I have never seen us blow pipes out. So that should make a massive difference to me rolling up pipes shortly. Pipes will be lighter and there'll no be a chance of me getting drunk in slurry. In theory might be some pressure still in the pipes, I don't know yet. 
Aye. <laughs> Great. So, on comp this, roll pipes out to our field and then I'll try and get some mole traps footage. Uh, shortly. <laughs> <coughs> Ended up quite the day at the slurry so I didn't manage to get any traps done. So, here we are in my kitchen. I've got a dog towel on the table. So, I'll get some traps and I'll get going with it. Need a set of wee long nose pliers. Don't know where these came from, but it's a it's a knife hand out. It's one of the multi knives, very handy. I'll do the job for this. I've got that, and of course I'll be putting my gloves on while I'm touching the traps, and uh, aye, I'll probably get some traps but first. First. Got to quench the thirst. Right, these are our traps. Uh, some of them haven't been sorted out just yet. I'm wearing these gloves that I was given by M Store. They're actually quite good for this because they're quite um, tight and good for fiddly bits. So, these are the traps and they come generally with. So, you'll see. So, the, this is part of the latch and they're like. I'm pretty sure when they're new, they're either like fully right angle at this or they're slightly more than that. And then the wee hooks here, the hook right round. Um, nah, there, that, that one's better. So that's what it looks like when it first comes. This one must have been touched before, but I can still improve this one. Uh, but the hooks are, the hooks go right round. And that's more than a right angle and these the, the trigger are quite close together if I mind right they will be quite close together when I set it so push this down flick that over and there we go and then same for the other side Right, this is where the fingers get snappy. So, you can see that one side is a lot closer to the hole than the other. That's possibly because mum's been bending them. Uh, but this one's obviously not been bent enough. Because they can sit quite close to the middle. And the mole, you want the mole to be hitting this as soon as possible so it snaps shut on it because if it gets straight through and it just gets the back end it'll be able to escape um, so you just get your thumb give it a wee bend towards the hoop I mean not just quite as much as that but just a wee bend and so that's a lot better however it still takes quite a lot for this to actually trigger I'm actually pushing that quite hard and that's that's absolutely no use <laughs> so, let's see how quick that is but right let's get these pliers <clears throat> Myself getting hit with this. <laughs> right, so the wee hooks. See there? I want you to bite that with your pliers and take, take the hook out of it. So it's almost the right angle. Not a hoop right down over like that one, and then 
It's just very simple things that make this a lot more sensitive. So it can catch on this because it's not because it's a right angle or just more than a right angle. It catches on that as well, so you want to bend that round just ever so slightly so that it's pointing away so it's not a right angle anymore. So we'll set this side and show you the difference in sensitivity. This is where you get snapped because it is that much more sensitive. If you bend it too much it'll go off without you touching it but if you've got it just right like this it'll go where you just touching it like that. See the difference there? <laughs> I wasn't able just to give that a wee nudge, that was just a wee touch and away it went. So that's one side done. You know I was able to on the other side, can't even do that now. So same again to the other side, Get your pliers. Grab this, give that a wee bend out. It's just all about making the workings easier to move. And you must wear gloves. Because if you don't, you'll get your smell on the traps and it'll take longer to get them to catch your traps. Right, so. This is the side I done originally. That's ready to go. Might get a wee laugh here, I think I've done this side too much. So it might come on with I might snap shut on my fingers. Oops, caught my glove. Right. That's that's now set. We well, thought should not make them too sensitive because you want to be able to put them in the ground. <laughs> so that's that's barely on there compared to see that's that's just wanting to go. So makes it far more sensitive, and that's what you want because you want them to go in and touch it and then it to go off, rather than them going in, feeling something, then running away or filling the trap. That's what happened with the trap that was out in the field. It wasn't set like this. The trap was bought and it hadn't been edited like this, so that's it wasn't as sensitive as this. And it felt it, filled it with soil, and the way it went. So, just give this a wee touch. See that's set off the two. <laughs> the two of them went off because of that but you don't have to make it as sensitive as this. It's all just wee fine tuning, wee tweaks in here and there. And then when you're putting them in the ground make sure you bury the hoop. And by that I mean this. Make sure that's well in the soil. So you either shove it right in so it's in the soil and they can walk over it and not feel it or get your finger and get a wee scratch and then put it in over the top of it. So that's one trap done, I've got another three or four here to do and then uh, that'll be that and then I'll go set some traps uh, when I get a chance. Or if I don't get a chance, Mum will be doing it anyway, but these traps will be ready to catch some moles. What's going on with my hair? Anyway, thanks all for watching. Cheers guys, and see you all next time. <laughs>